What you're about to hear is the fusion of entertainment and enlightenment. And welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. My name is Hardcore 77777777. Yes, I know. I was named by a complete nut job. Okay, yeah, uh, technically I named myself when I created my YouTube account, but uh anyway, I'm here to tell you how to make RCT3 Machinima. Let's get started. First, you'll probably want to know what Machinima is if you don't already. The most popular form of Machinima by far is recorded video game footage that is edited into a single movie-like video. Other realms of machinima exist, but they're too obscure to mention right now. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was practically built for machinima. It has many attributes that are very desirable for a machinima production. Some of them I've listed here, but you'll find many more convenient things about the game as you begin to explore and use it. And now for the part of the video that's actually useful. At RCT3's main menu, go to Tools, then go to Scenario Editor. A blank park, just like this one, will load. Let's take a look. The park is pretty empty, except for just a few peeps. Right now I'm going to teach you how to make them talk, like me. You can pick up peeps by clicking on this red crane button. This is useful if you want a peep to be in a specific place for a specific reason. When your peep is in desired position, click on him. Once you have clicked on a peep, his gaze will follow your cursor. Fortunately, the cursor is not recorded by the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 in-game recorder, so you can't tell that he's following the cursor. It just looks like he's looking around by himself. This allows you to puppet the character and make them look like they're talking. Hey there, how's it going, Hardcore 77777777? Wow. That is a really long name. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, so now that you know how to make peeps talk, let's start set building. One of the reasons that I suggest using the scenario editor instead of sandbox or something like that is that you can edit the amount of land that your park owns. To do this, click on Set Park Land. This button here will be important in a moment. It shows the amount of land that's actually owned by the park. Clicking on it highlights that land. Now go to Map Settings. This is where the magic happens. Click on this button to extend your park to the north. In reality, it will take a lot longer than that but you get the idea. Do the same thing with this button to extend your park to the east. Unfortunately, there is a maximum size that the park can be, which is 254 by 254. However, that is much better than the default 128 by 128. To more clearly see the amount of available land, turn the terrain grid on. Now, this is important. Don't stop there. Go back to Set Park Land and highlight the amount of land that's owned by the park. As you can see, we only own about a fourth of the available space. Be sure to fill in the rest so that you can use it. Now there's just one more detail. The fence shows the boundaries of the park, but it might be out of place in your machinima. Here's how to remove it. Go to Set Park Land then click on Landscape Settings. Then click on the icon with the X'd out fence. Now you can build your set with the terrain tools, scenery items, etc. I'm not going to guide you through the process of building things since there are plenty of tutorials out there for building normal Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 structures that you can use for Machinima. So look some of those up and then come back and see the rest of this tutorial.
I see you've built a set. Hallelujah. Just one more thing before you start filming. The default camera settings in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 are very inconvenient for setting up certain shots, like an over the shoulder shot or a close up. Here's how to remedy this. First go to Files and Options. Then go to Game Options. Next, click on Camera Settings. Click here to select a different control mode. Select Free Look. This controls the speed of the camera. 0.35 is a good setting. The controls for the Free Look camera are a bit different, but the main trick is to hold down the right mouse button in order to look around. The other trick is to go forward and backward with W and S, and side to side with A and D. You can do the same thing with the arrow keys. You can also push against the sides of the screen with the cursor. Now that you can set up shots properly, you can begin filming your machinima. To start recording a video, press Control shift f 11 Press it again to stop. Now, it's time to see your machinima! Oops, I forgot a few things. So, I guess you don't need me anymore. Actually, uh, stick around. I'll need you again in a second. Anyway, I forgot some of the most important parts. One of which is so important that it deserves its own intro. It's a bird! It's a plane! No! It's the Flying Camera Route Editor!